Chapter 17 Day Breaks Here we are at the beautiful Phoenicia's Hall. Beautiful. Oh. Is that it? Wait, there's more. Seems that Prince Race was able to escape Duke Tannis's villa and make his way safely to Serenus Forest. However, we have word that Tannis's men have entered the forest in hopes of recapturing the prince. We've not a moment to waste. Please, O oh King of Hawks, reach out your mighty talent, strike down those wretched humans and rescue Prince Rayson. I implore you, your majesty, take wing at once. Why is Nesala not here? That, uh, his highness must not be seen at this time. It's, what's going on, you old buzzard? King Kilvis is the White Prince's friend, isn't he? Well, how do I put this? It's all very complicated. I care not for excuses. If anything happens to Rayson, blood will be spilled. Oh no, please, there's no cause for worry. Duke Tannis treats his works of art with delicacy so extreme that it could be best it could best be called abnormal. He would never let any harm befall Prince Rayson. He probably can't even bring himself to touch him. The king himself told me so. That is the only reason he accepted this proposal. Proposal? I, oh, mm, what I mean is, uh, hold it. You crow set the prince up? S set up? Set up? Oh, no, no. Well, not exactly. Um, please don't hurt me. So that's the truth of it, huh? Nysala treated Raisin like a piece of merchandise and sold him to a human. No, that's not. The only one who referred to him as merchandise was Duke Tannis. We never. It doesn't matter. Claiming ignorance does, does not grant you innocence. You treated Rayson like a trinket in a public market. Oh, dear. If Rayson hadn't escaped on his own, perhaps the Crow King would have rescued him when things cooled down. Regardless, Rayson trusted in his friend and followed him into the trap, and they saw a spit on that friendship. That I cannot forgive. Your assessment of this old bird is correct. I am a worm, nothing more. But please, I beg of you, temper your rage, let it cool. You're unbelievable! What is it with you crows anyway? Everything uh, you do is so dirty and deceptive. You will never understand your ways. Do you hear me, Grey Wings? Well, I hear you well, young hawk, but our nation... Our nation has its own issues. Please, this is not the time to yell at the tired old man. You must hurry the prince race inside! Once he is safe, you can punish me in any way you see fit. Tear me limb from limb if you wish. But please, go to prince race and I beg of you! The begging is unseemly and unwanted. We would rescue Rayson regardless of this pathetic show of tears. Return to Kilvis and report these events to your accursed king. Tell him that when this is over, King Tiburn of Phoenicius will be paying him a visit. Y yes your highness <sighs> I know he deserves it, but I still feel bad for badgering the old coot. Your majesty, what will we do now? Ulki. Use your ears to pick out the sound of Rayson's wings, and tell me the direction it comes from which it comes. At once. Yanoff, use your eyes to peer between the trees and find me a road. You got it! Human scum. If you think to replay that night from 20 years ago, you'll get no quarter from me. You'll get no sympathy from me! Main old cathedral. Ah. Hmm? Is that you, Soren? You're up early. Actually, I'm always awake at this time. Really? Yes, you're the one who's up earlier than normal. I want to finish our mission today. I think my nervous energy woke me up. I understand. The last two days spent searching Serenus Forest for that heron have been frustrating and fruitless. I'm sure he's in there somewhere, but... I agree, and Duke Tannis's men are still hunting away. They must think the heron is there as well. The only place left is the forest's heart. That's where we should go today. With luck, we may finally locate our target. I get the feeling it's going to be a long day. Ike, I'd like to report the results of our last battle. 35,000 gold obtained from that. We, uh, uh... Astra was the MVP and we obtained Devdin as a new ally. There were no deaths and no injuries beyond our capabilities to heal. Everyone performed exceedingly well. That is all. By your leave, I will excuse myself. With that, let's look in at what supports we got. I am going to do... 
Actually, no, I'm I'm not gonna do that one. Mia and Reese have another one. Oh, hello, Mia. Um, you're not going to throw a sword at me again, are you? Huh? Oh, hey, Reese. I was hoping to run into someone today, and guess what? You showed up. Ah, uh, not that fortune telling again. L look, I, I d didn't mean to interrupt you. Just let me just back away now. No, stick around. I could be wrong. Maybe fortune telling can't predict the future after all. Too bad. That old crone had great reputation. Wait, maybe. Yes. Do you want to train with me, Reese? Huh? Oh, why didn't I see it before? You have what it takes to be a legendary swordsman. You just don't realize it yet. There's an, there is awesome potential within you. And when you finally realize it, you'll end up clashing with me as my grand arch rival. Ha, uh, ha, uh, ha. Um, I don't think that's likely to happen, Mia. Although it's true I once wanted to be a fighter back when I was a frail child. Aha! I knew it! You can't give up on harness talent like yours just because you're frail. Give it a try! Come on! I'll train you myself. We'll start with the basics. You will? Of course! Even if I am training the man who that will one day be my most hated rival, we better get cracking. Well, well, well. Oh! <laughs> I've been waiting on this one! Leaf and Jill. Um... Can I help you? I, I I have a question. Is that all right? It depends on what you're going to ask. Why don't half breed? Nope, that's not right. Why don't Lagoos use weapons? We Lagoos are born ready to fight. Weapons are something that you powerless Bayork created to counter our claws. We have no use for them. I uh, I see. Is that all you wanted to ask? Um, no. There's more. Why do you detest us humans so much? That is a good question. But I would hear you answer first. Why do Bayork hate the Lagoos? It's because the half the Lagoos are our enemy. Enemy? If that's the case, we hate you too. As we hate all our enemies. We're done here. Wait! Mm, she's trying. Oh, sh oh my god, is she trying. Any other ones I can do here? Uh, no. Okay. Next up, info. Let's get some from the servant. Commander Ike, a priest from Duke Tannis' villa insists on speaking with you. Yes, what is it? Um, Master Mercenary, it is my understanding that you... you pursue Duke Tannis. I hear you're searching Serenus Forest in hopes of capturing him. And if I am? Duke Tannis' property borders the forest, if he knows much about its... and he knows much about its layout. For quite some time now, he's been sending men into the forest to look for any herons who may still live there. I see. So you're saying that his troops know the forest well? I, too, have been taken into the forest. You? Why take a priest? He thought that herons would make themselves known if a priest called to them. He's also taken dozens of chaste maidens tried and tried having them call to the herons as well. But he didn't find any, did he? No. And yet this time, the joy he expressed after paying such an exorbitant price for the Serenus Royal was... aberrant. It was not natural. The Duke has gone mad. To think that he would dare defy the Apostle. He is damned. And here you stand. You're going to tell me that you remember about the forest, even though it means you're betraying Tannis. Uh, what you remember about this forest, even though it means betraying Tannis, right? Hmm. You read me well. To begin with, the heart of the forest is divided into three large sections. Maybe more. It was nearly colorless and difficult to see far. The muddy floor pulled at our feet and, pro and progress, was, progress was slow. Many of the soldiers around me were afraid that they didn't bring enough supplies. They said a person would need them if, uh, if he got lost, because getting out again would be no easy task. What can you tell me about Duke Tannis' forces? There were a lot of them. He had soldiers of every type. It was said that his mounted units and magic users were especially powerful. So at the very least, you be prepared to deal with those two groups. Thank you. My parents. They both participated in the Serenus Massacres. They're nearing the end of their lives, but even now they lie awake at night and beg the goddess for forgiveness. I became a priest in order to help my parents, but then I was assigned to work at Duke Tannis' villa. I knew of his terrible deeds, but his position as an Imperial Senator frightened me. I've been silent for far too long. Master Mercenary, you must rescue that Serenus youth. I beg of you. May the Goddess guide your hand. Don't worry. I have no intention of letting that villain steal him from, my from before my very eyes. Ooh, we got a nice bit of information there, and good to see some kindness coming out of the citizenry of Benyon. Next up, Jill. Here you are. We've been in Binyan for a while now, so tell me something. Why are you still here? Are you pretending to be our friend so you could lance us in the back? 
You have to understand. I... I didn't know anything. I was born and raised in, Talreg in the Talrega region of Dayan. It's a very remote area. My father was a soldier, and I grew up thinking that I too would one day be a soldier. A soldier to make my father proud. My life was simple. I questioned nothing, doubted nothing. Do you know the first thing we're taught in Dayan schools? Subhumans are evil, subhumans are the enemy, subhumans must be eradicated. The army stages periodic subhuman hunts. We find refugees from Benyon hiding in our mountains and forests. You participated. You don't get it. That's just how things are in Dayan. No one taught me the word lagoos. No one taught me that subhumans could be, could be like this. No one cared. When I saw the birds at tribes at sea, I was convinced that the teachings were true. They were inhuman monsters. But later, I saw the dragons push your ship off the reef, and it confused me. What if I had been raised to believe a lie? My heart pounded at the thought of it, and my doubts only grew with time. So you decided to remain aboard in order to ascertain the truth. That's your true motive, isn't it? How did you know? I've known a lot of soldiers, and none would ever accept charity from an enemy. It would wound their pride. You obviously have pride to spare, so I knew there was some other factor at play. Oh. Well, have you reached a conclusion? What will you do? I want to stay here. At first I thought I could protect my old life. That I could prove the subhumans were monsters. But I was wrong. And now things are different. The subhu- I'm sorry. The Lagoos. I want to know the truth about them. And I need to base, need to base that on what I see, not by what I'm told by others. In that case, you could stay for as long as you like. I appreciate it. I think meeting all of you was a very good thing. Character development! Devdon, our newest party member. La 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 da -de -da -de la la Um, hey there, you. Have a minute? Oh, Captain, how are you today? It's Commander, not Captain. Well, you seem to be enjoying yourself. It's because this garden is so pretty. Devdon loves all plants and flowers. How about you, Commander? They're all right, I suppose. That makes Devdon rather sad. All right is not a very strong feeling. It is boring. You should be more, uh, uh, be a more emotional Commander. Even things you're used to will show something new if you look hard enough. And discoveries are exciting. That's what life is all about. At least that's what Devdon thinks. Some disagree, and that makes Devdon upset. You may be onto something. In Crimea, when my father was still alive, I think I was more open to such things. But now, I just don't have the time. Honestly, all I can think about is defeating Dayan. I have no energy left to spend on flowers. If you talk like that, you will never defeat Dayan. What did you say? The war is new. If you are already so focused on preparations, you'll wear out before the fighting begins. Hold on a minute. Interesting. Devdin takes life slow. Devdin sees the beauty in life, and Devdin won't, like... And Devdin isn't terribly concerned about things that are going to happen in the future. I think I can learn from that and learning to relax a little bit, even though he is the head of this mercenary group, and a lot of stuff rests on his shoulders. Anyway, now that we got that out of the way, I think it's time to award some EXP. I am going to be awarding a lot of EXP to Rolf. Not bad. My reasoning for such is that he would be at a high enough level so he could promote- WHAT THE HELL?! His speed maxed out, so maybe it was gonna give him a speed thing. That's, that said, I have been maxing out some of the, uh, I actually realized I made a mistake by promoting Reese because, um, I should have kept him as a, uh, priest for a little while longer. Because I realized that Rolf and Boyd are just a, a hair away from that, and I don't have many chapters left before I need them to be promoted. Anyway, now that that's all said and done, let's go ahead and give Brahm some experience. Really good level up. A speed and a strength stat are always good for him. Giving some to Mia here. Ooh, nice, a strength point. One of the things I've been noticing about Mia is that her strength being so low kind of makes her depend on critical hits more often, which might become a problem when she's a sword master. Uh, let's give a little bit more to Brom. Good level up. Volt could definitely use some more. 
it's eh, not bad. Could have been significantly worse. Oh, for God's sake. All right, Leaf, let's get you up to level. No, man, I'm, we're losing it here. Yes, I do have enough to get Jill up to level 16. What did she get? Oh, speed, resistance, and, and uh, HP, good. She's, uh, she's kind of needed more speed. All right, Put that out of the way. I think there were a couple of skills I wanted to assign to people here. Yes, I wanted to give Nephany Vantage as if she ends up at like half health or lower, the combination of her being able to attack first no matter what, plus having plus 50 to critical hit is incredibly good. I think that's all I wanna do in that front. I'm gonna go outfit my, uh, my troops for the next battle and make a new weapon. Going through here, I decided to give a Draco shield to Mia. She's gonna be in the thick of battle. And I opted to give the Ashira icon to Nephany. Opted to make another bow for Rolf since Astrid already has one. And Rolf's enemies shall feel the power of the rainbow. They got a nice dog for it. All right, with everything out of the way, I think it's time for us to begin. I believe this is the place where we ended our search yesterday. I realized something a couple of days ago. Even in this forest, you always know exactly where you are, don't you? Hmm? How do you do that? I think it's the lack of color, but these woods are starting to look the same to me. Yes, that's a problem. Ike, we're approaching a large clearing. I think we should leave the Apostle and some of the others, uh, have the Apostle and some of the others wait here. Good idea. Even if we find the Heron today, there's no need for them to tramp through the forest with us. Hmm. We're going uh, to head deeper into the forest to continue the search. Please wait here. If we find the Heron, we'll send for you immediately. I understand. My Lord Ike, everyone, please be careful. We're counting on you. Sigrun, Tanith, may I entrust the princess to your care? Of course. You have no need to worry. We will protect her with our lives. Very well. Until later. Fog is so thick, you can cut it with a knife. All right, Grail Merc... Let me try that one again. All right, Grail Mercenaries, move out. Gah! Haven't you fools found my precious little bird yet? I have no doubt the poor thing even now will quiver is even now quivering with loneliness and cold. Duke Tennis, I just received word that the mercenaries who invaded your villa are in this forest. Blast! Those wretches. They're here to steal my bird. Their souls are black with greed and jealousy. I have found beauty incarnate and I will not relinquish it. Only I, Duke Tannis, can appreciate its worth. Um, I'm sure that's true, Your Grace, but what about the mercenaries? What should we do about them? Hunt them down like dogs! Let none leave this forest alive! They will not rob me of my prize. But your grace, they serve at the pleasure of the Apostle herself. Strike them would be... Leave the Apostle to me! I can deal with her once this is finished. All I need from you is silence and obedience. Is that clear? Yes, your grace. I beg your pardon. There they are! Do as Duke Oliver commanded! Slay them where they stand! Let none leave the forest alive, not man, woman, or child! Oh, not the Duke's soldiers again. I think it's about time we put an end to these fools. Listen up, everyone. Let's end this here. <laughs> I, I... I am aware of the irony of me using that voice for Duke Tannis and Ike saying fools. Anyway! This map! is pretty simple, we just have to route. No big deal here, not a lot going on. Although there's, there doesn't appear to be a boss. There's good reason for that. Because this is not the only part of the map. It goes to here. And here. And here. This is a very long chapter that will no doubt be split into at least two videos. 
Starting off in here, our uh, our victory condition is to rout. Reinforcements will show up, and our bonus EXP for this mission requires us to beat this chapter, this entire chapter, within 30 turns. So we're gonna be here for a little while. Give me a hot minute to organize my troops. All right, here's what we're looking at with this. One thing I discovered as well is that if you equip the demiband onto a Lagoos and then take it off of them, whatever meter they would have had at the start of the, um, of the mission is completely gone. So in that case, Leith right now has zero meter because I screwed that up. And it doesn't even work if you go back, if you like hit go back on this menu to go back to the base and then come back through here. She just doesn't have her meter anymore at the start of this. It's uh, it's a little frustrating, but what are you gonna do? Let's go ahead and safety save. And then we'll go ahead and start the fight. This is going to be... Hell on Earth, to say the least. Start with Titania coming up here, and we'll use a steel axe on this gent. Uh, potentially, potentially taking some damage, but it should be fine. Uh, reinforcements are going to be coming uh, between uh, in on uh, specific turns. Specifically, at turns two, three enemies will appear at the bottom. At the end of turn three, two enemies will appear from the left, and at turn five, enemies will appear from the top. I do want to check to see the range on these guys, just to make sure I'm not going to be wandering into some horrific situation here. Can't quite reach him, but I can chuck a javelin at him. Very similar in terms of, I could, I could at least deal like 19 damage to him by chucking a javelin. Something else I learned about the Venom Edge. If it makes contact, even if uh, you don't, even if you take no damage from the Venom Edge, you still take damage, or you still get poison from it. Let's get Astrid, Let's, pretty much we're gonna move everybody up. Ike is mostly gonna be used in case of emergencies. Also, there are swamp tiles here which do uh, reduce the amount of movement you have as well. I mostly just want to look as tasty a bait as possible. I'll keep Axolotl out for what might be to come here. I want to I want to look as tasty as possible so as many things come out as possible so that way I can do this in the least amount of turns as possible. And yeah, why not? Sword can go here. Let's go. Oh, you know what? I haven't really equipped everybody with like everything they could be equipped with. Well, maybe I should have equipped her with the uh, with the ranged weapon instead. Eh. There might be some small regret not bringing Reese along here. Of course they're going for Astrid. Bow and narrow. Ow! Well, I've got everyone equipped with, with Vulnerary, so it's fine. Haha! -ha, you fool! Oh, you're gonna try and poison me, is that it? No damage, but I, you can still you saw that uh, that little flash of purple there? That means I am now poisoned. Having antitoxin might have been a good way to go here. Haha! <laughs> I am going to get you! I have Steel Axe! Eight damage! Oof! Aha! You missed! Here they come. <laughs> and she's taking damage as well. She will stay poisoned for four more turns, as you can see on there. I might need to have her retreat for a little while. However... This would be an excellent opportunity for Rolf to get a little bit of experience. Steel bow should kill. Uh, 16 damage per hit, plus I hit twice, so yes. Oh, damn! The crit animation! I'm gonna keep the hurling stick out. As much as I would love to have Braum participate in this as well, it's gonna be a little bit difficult for him to do that at the moment. Uh, how much? Oh, right, because uh, he attacked Astrid. What are we looking at for defense on this guy? Seven versus your hit with Slice and Sue of 20. I think you outspeed this guy heavily. Steel Sword, 14 to what I'm assuming is 18. 
Yeah, let's have Boyd move up here and start taking this guy out with the Venon Axe. Axe? Oh, Terror, we're gonna be hitting him with Axolotl. Actually, that's the only one I can really use because I gave him two ranged weapons for some reason. I didn't even give him a hammer. Did I give the hammer to, to uh... Titania? It would make sense if I did. Ba -da. An antitoxin! Hello! Could be using that to my advantage here. You know, I think I'll do just that. So if you come up here, slice and sue. Um, 13 damage per hit, perfect. She is very much upgraded by the fact that some of the swords that I have are gonna be like doing more damage and way less that I make. Because her strength is not good. She's gonna be heavily depending on crits once she's a sword master, as I said before. Um, as much as I really don't want to use Ike that much, yeah, Jill's gonna be. Jill should just go up and grab this and get the heck out of Dodge. As much as I don't want to use Ike that much because he's full level, I should try to eliminate as many targets as possible. Well, let's go with the steel blade because he's got the listen. Ike's got the strength and the uh, the speed for it. He's he's gonna do very well here. And who knows? There's that three percent chance he might crit. He didn't crit. That's fine though. Not every attack needs to be a crit. I did give her the hammer, right? I did. Okay. Uh, do I even need it? Twelve damage per hit versus oh, significantly more. Yes, I do believe that is the right move. Bum, 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 bum. Just try it. Haha. -ha. You cannot hit me while my horse is in a shrub. Shrub horse. Titanium shrub horse. Listen, shrub horse is a good horse, okay? I don't know what else to tell you. How far can you move? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, assuming there isn't. I'm gonna move her up here to try to attract the ire of the 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 ire of the sniper. Is this guy gonna come and kill her? Yes. Gonna attack from here, using the bow and arrow, dealing not enough damage. Rising up, bow and arrow. Might I crit? Might I kill him? Went the distance, now I'll shoot him with the bow and arrow. Now he's dead, maybe not. It's the bow and arrow, it's the thrill of the fight. What am I even doing? Um, I think, all right. Need to make sure I'm out of this guy's range. And this guy. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Javelin? Six damage! I need to make sure she stays out, out of range of a certain somebody. You all know who I mean. Uh, have her come down here. Alright. Oh, goody, you've got a Steel Axe. Um, Soren is gonna move up this way. He's not really getting much action because of how slow he is. I'm gonna move, move uh, Leith up this way just to uh, protect Rolf. Yeah, I figured that would be the case. But getting her a little bit of extra damage in. Unless they just straight up miss because Leith is badass. Here they come! Nobody else is here, but what ho! Eh, she's taking more and more damage. Uh, Nephany is gonna meet their challenge. Well, they're hurling, stick! Nephany! Nephany, you go on out there, you beat them with your hurling stick! 
On the bright side as well, she if she takes any uh, any damage, then uh, that puts her closer to being within the ultimate crit range. Uh huh. Gonna have yeah, I guess I'll have them come through the swamp. Steel bow, 15 damage per hit. Rainbow, on the other hand, 20 damage per hit. Always, always, always good to make weapons. I should see what what weapons I have that nobody is using so I can sell them as well. Because I do need money. Uh, some folk are going to come out on this side, which means... Boyd is going to be lying in wait for them. Boyd, oh Boyd, he, is he going to be like? Oh shoot! All right, well I guess uh, hey, uh, guess who else is? Antitoxin cure. And that's all of her movement. Great, <laughs> fantastic. Glad I did that. A plus, number one job. Good game. You have done so very well. Gotta watch out for the Longsword, Killer Lance, Elfire, and Elf Thunder. Good lord! Quite a lot going for it there. Longsword, uh, attack of 15. What is your defense? 14. Doubling the might of the Longsword. She would take 7 damage from that? I think it's worth putting her in range just to be able to deal with it. Yes. Let's let's try putting her within range. I do a practice run and I can still never remember if... Uh, if that's worth doing. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Bow and arrow. A uh, bow and arrow will definitely kill, as will a steel bow, but it doesn't have as good a chance to hit. This could spell trouble for me if I don't actually make contact on both of these. Or it could crit, or she could just crit and be perfectly safe and fine. That's Astrid. Bada bada bum. Bum bum. Uh, she levels up. What is she now? 18, 19, 19. A little bit of skill, a little bit of defense, a little bit of luck, and her speed is already maxed out. And uh, I can just do whatever because he's actually kind of a non-factor in this game. Hello, they're coming after her with the hurling stick. Vantage. Like, it's better if Nephany takes damage, you know? Here they come, here come the bad guys, they're gonna try to kill me. They're gonna try to kill me and uh, maybe they'll be dead now. Come on bad guys, come on bad guys, come on bad guys, come! Ba-bum, bum. Vantage! I take advantage of your vantage! Yes! 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 Smack. Did not kill. Mm-mm-mm, that's a little iffy. And there they are. See, I told you, just like I said, they'd be there. Rainbow? I don't even need rainbow. Steel bow would be enough. 18 damage per hit? Works for me. They've got a venom edge. Really? The crit on the second one? Oh dear. I'm actually curious when he becomes sniper if his uh, if his um, uh, crit animation changes to the same as uh, as what's his name's. Oh, this guy's so toast. Uh, that is exactly 24. Oh, the axolotl! It's my green axe! You can cross on the green axe, but not in between axe. Can't get far enough. Can't get far enough. The only ones who can get far- there are three who can get far enough. Where did you come from? Were you always there? I think it might be within my best interest. You got 10 resistance to their 19 and 17. Yikes! I can only take out three. That guy can't reach Titania. 
Taking out the Halberdier, taking out the Myrmidon, and we're gonna take out the Elf Thunder guy. Ready? Okay! Oh, they might just go for a Leaf, if that's the case. I hate that my units plod behind so much. I also hate that I had to move in such a way where I couldn't get back into the fight quite right. So I'm just gonna go here. What turn is this? Four? Alright, we're definitely gonna get get these guys before the end of this. Uh, the Harlan stick, eh? Okay. Let's try to stay out of this guy's range as much as possible. I could... You know what? Ike can go... He's probably gonna kill this guy in one go. 30... 6 HP, 18 defense. And I'm dealing 27. It's 19 per hit. If I switch to just the steel sword, then it wouldn't kill him, and then I can farm some EXP off him. Oh shoot, but I need him to take care of the- Oh wait, no, I can do that. Uh... So let's do the 81% chance to hit. Accident has a better chance, so let's do that instead. Curse you and your longsword! Um, she can move forward a little bit as long as she's not within range of the of this, that, and the other guy. Astrid, I would have. Let's see, would bow and arrow be strong enough to take this guy down? Yes, by a large margin. What about steel bow? Uh, twelve? Or no, fourteen per hit? No, bow and arrow is better. I don't know why it's been getting harder and harder for me to do basic, basic arithmetic. Or she can crit, that works too. She leveled up again. Level 20, which means next level she upgrades to Paladin. And considering everything, she's definitely getting that. Uh, Leith transforms next round, so that's all well and good. Uh, let's use the Steel Sword to kill this guy. I'm dealing 16 damage, taking 14 in return, good lord. A magically defensive uh, chum Ike is not. Ow! Slash! You are dead! I killed you! Good night, sweet prince. Actually, I should probably check to see. I'm taking 12 damage from that one. And I'd be taking... Oy, uh, let's see here. 40... I'm not taking that much from that one. It's fine. I should try... Let me see. What? Are both these 100%? Yes. I'm just gonna give them the point. Get rid of the uh, soldier with the killer edge first. It would have been nice to have left Boyd down there, but Myrmidons are notoriously good against Axe users. Hello. Oh, what did you do down there? You try to kill me with a steel sword, I'll hit you with a vein and axe. Ayo, oh, ayo. Oh. Okay, I seem to be very much in pain. Maybe my friend can set you on fire. Yes, you burned. Wizard, why is he still up? Maybe the Myrmidons can take down that there Nephany. Oh, not with that attitude. God, Vantage is so good. And Nephany gains a level. Hurefany for Nephany! I mean, hooray for Nephane! I mean, you know what I mean. There is a single unit left. And at the end of this turn, more units would spawn Oh no, there's two units left. Either way, more units would have spawned at the top if that was the if that was the, the end of it. But it's not, so it don't, and it ain't. Uh let's actually use Thunder. I need to improve his uh his thunder magic. So that way he can use L Thunder. 
kind of go in the middle of the road on it. It's going to be a little bit tough when I get the higher level spells later on, unless I start really getting into the arm scrolls. But it'd be nice because I don't really have much people who can use other types of magic right now. Does she still have the Bayork guard on? Yes, okay. My strategy was going to be that when her transformation was about to run out, I'd switch her over to the Demi Band. Which is a viable strategy in and of itself, but, you know, doesn't quite work out when in some situations here. Anyway, let's kill this guy. You killed my only friend! Now you're going to burn! Ah! I got burned! We've done it! We've cleared the chapter! Or have we? Curses! They just keep coming! How many soldiers does he have? There's no telling. He is a bishop and a senator, and he holds peerage. And that means he could command many men. Commander, what do you think about calling in reinforcements? That's not a bad idea. And while we wait, we could take a breather and reorganize our attack strategy. Let's do it. All right, we continue on to stage two. What was that sound? I heard something too. It came from the Northeast. It's unlike anything I've ever heard. To the Northeast? Ha, ah, there are ruins over there. Perhaps the White Prince found them to be a good hiding place. Let's check it out. Maybe we can find him and escape while the humans fight amongst themselves. What are those humans thinking? Why would they be trying to lop each other's heads off? Shall I make an inquiry? Leave them. They're nothing but trouble. I second that. Now, if we want to avoid the human skir skirmish, we should head that away through the trees. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right, let's figure out where to go next. We should head towards the ruins in the northeast. I sense a presence there. A presence? It happened mo uh, a moment ago, uh, and was a mere whisper. Only Lagu's ears could have heard it. Perhaps it was a signal of some sort. Hmm, a sound that Bayor can't hear. That's interesting. It is said that those of the Heron clan are all practitioners of Sade magic. Perhaps this is, uh, this sound is related to that. Sade magic? What's that? It involves arcane songs known as, known as Galdrar. Uh, the effects of Galdrar on the listener depend on the lyrics and melody. For example, the Galdr can restore lost strength and vitality to those who hear it. If the singer is of royal blood, the Galdr may be powerful enough to move its listeners to extraordinary feats. I've even heard tales of a Galdr that uh, could give one the speed to do the work of two men. The Galdrar grants many powers. What amazing power. Yeah, but even with all that power, they were still wiped out by the Bayork. Ah! Uh, Herons are highly attuned to the forces of balance. Even if they had the means to resist, I doubt they would have used them. We leave as soon as our reinforcements arrive. Duke Tannis must not, su not, not succeed. Let's rescue the Heron while there's time. I understand. Leith, hold on a moment. What is it? The sound of the ruins, and the ruins. Thanks for telling me about them. It is nothing. It is only natural to aid one's companions. I couldn't agree more. Meanwhile, off to the side here. Cursed humans. How dare they defile this forest again. I will brook their savagery no more. The forest whispered earlier, but I must drive these wretches out before I can speak to it further. I will go to the altar. I will give voice to the forbidden magic and destroy the humans utterly. We are on a new map, therefore giving us a new preparation phase and all of our units are completely healed. Thank goodness. On top of that, we cannot reposition our, our forces right now as we are kind of hurried. We can, however, reinforce by bringing two more units with us. Just so I have them for the next one immediately, I'm going to bring Brom and Volk. I believe I already have them equipped with what I want them to have. Yes. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Let's, uh, let's make that... <laughs> Let's make that Brom and Reese, because Reese is going to be useful from here on out, especially with how I need to do this. 
This portion of the chapter is an arrive one. Only one unit needs to make it here in order for us to get to the next area, and there are plenty of things trying to get in our way in order to uh, hinder our process, uh, our progress here. Unfortunately, we can't uh, we can't rearrange. Otherwise, I would have put Boyd right out in the front. But we got to do what we can with what we have. Uh, Jill is going to be very useful for this as she's able to cross the swamp without much issue. This is the shorter way, but you have to go through the swamp to get to it in order to arrive. How, this is the longer way, but requires you to fight more units. I'm going to be splitting the party in that regard. Let's go ahead and begin the fight. There they are! The Crimean mercenaries! Surround them! They all must- they all must die! I miss the bandit song. Listen, everyone. We must make uh, our way to the ruins of the Northeast. Fight if you must, but keep up. Ike, what about the reinforcements? They'll have to catch up. We can't wait any longer. Understood. All right. Got to ensure who I'm bringing where and for what purposes. I want Boyd and Rolf to fight as many people as possible, so they're going up and to the right here. And all these are mounted units as well, which means Boyd is gonna have a lot to talk about with his, uh, with his, uh, big ol' lax there. Is she? Yes. Um... I'm gonna have Ike come up and shove him this way. Is... can... no. Can Rolf? No. Leaf can. But I want her on the other side. Either way, putting him within range is a good idea because it'll get more enemies to come down after him. For the time being, it probably would have been a di better idea if I put him out to the- Oh, I forgot to switch him to the poleaxe. Whatever. Titania, I'm gonna have move over here. Uh, she'll keep accident ready just in case one of these guys or a ranged unit is coming around. Let's have... Uh... And we'll just have everybody else sort of move in uh, as their as their want and will. Mia can actually we got five on this side already. Let's have uh, let's have Mia come over here with the rest of these guys. Uh, Ike is gonna join these four over here. Meanwhile, Astrid can really stick it to this guy with a steel bow. Cause Astrid. God, what an ungodly good ability to be able to just get more experience points. I kind of wonder if you stacked that with the Blossom ability, what, it, what, how that would change. Would it, would they cancel out completely or would it give you like a 75%, um, 75% chance? What am I trying to say? A 75... Lost my train of thought again. Or would it, like, would it half the 1.5 or 1.5 times the half, making it a 75, making you need 75%, no, 25% less experience than normal. Good lord. I speak good! I'm gonna go down to the local speakeasy. Oh, here they come. I'm excited! All those mount mounted units are so delicious. Any of them wielding anything? Uh, only one of them is wielding a bow. Boat. I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. Ralphie boy! Take care of this fellow, will you? Actually, where is this guy's range? <laughs> Need to make sure of that. Uh, rock is immovable. So if actually if I put him here, then I will be blocking off their area. And let's give him the hand axe for the time being. Just because this guy is definitely gonna come and try to try to touch him. There's gonna be no no flagrant touching here. <laughs> Rolf is essentially gonna do cleanup in order to gain experience. My hope is that Rolf will be able to take out the paladin up there. Cause once again, I am trying to get them promoted before. Chapter 19. Strength up is always good. Mia could learn a thing from Rolf. Uh, let's have you come up here. We'll have you come up here as far as you can. Oh wait, no. Oh wait, that's... 
I see. All right, let's have you come up here then. Thunder. Feel the thunder. That's a really bad idea, and the thunder. Again, long ass chapter. I mean, it's obvious who the first person that's gonna promote is, because just because of how much experience they're gonna be gaining. I technically would say that Reese was the first to promote, but I used a master seal on him, which doesn't make it any less, you know, of an achievement, but still. Another paladin up there, another healer, and you've got your wyvern rider there as well. I think I will have Jill come up here just to take care of this guy immediately. I'll use Dust Pokin because that, uh, let's see, 21 damage versus... I mean, no matter what, she's still able to, like, do everything. I'll use Dust Pokin, though, because it's a really good weapon. Super accurate. Swing! Ha-ha! Wah! Try and hit me! I don't know what this voice is! I woke up Manatee. Hi, bud. It's like one in the morning when I'm recording this. Eh, she can always use more speed. It's just a little heartbreaking whenever she like doesn't get as good of a level up as I think she deserves. Anyway, they gotta slog it through the mud. She can make it pretty far. Mia, on the other hand, cannot. I think it'd be better if she, let me see. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of swamp there, so she's gonna be in there for a little while. Ooh, let me check this paladin's range. Okay, he's definitely gonna be going for Boyd. Uh... Nephany can come up this way. Leith can traverse this better, so I'm gonna have her come back over here. And Ike can come up here. The enemies are a going, And my hand axe is gonna come in handy immediately. Haha! -ha! Take this! What? Oh no. It's still good, it's oh that's less fine. I was a lit I was I wasn't concerned at first, but now I'm very concerned. Only one hit, huh? Good lord. Their speed stats are getting real good. The Iron Blade. And of course the healer's probably gonna heal. Ah! You binch! Oh, the healer's definitely gonna heal that guy. Probably gonna ride off into the sunset there. Hello, sir. I see you carrying a short spear. Would you mind? Oh. I was gonna ask if you would not poke me with it. Level up! 19! Only two more levels until he reaches his pinnacle form! Lesai. It's gonna get him back up to full, eh? Yep. Woo! Yeah, uh... Are you sure I'm the one you wanted? Well, I hope this is over quickly. Oh dear. Is anyone injured? Let me attend them to them. Well, not yet, but there's definitely going to be people that will be injured. Because, a oh good lord. Steel Bow can take that guy down. He's still able to hit Rolf, however. If I use Rain Bow, then it causes his... Oh no, wait, that's the same. Never mind. It does give me 100% accuracy, though, and I'd prefer that. Let's kill this guy. Plus, it'd only take one use of this bow. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. As much as I'd love to take out the bow guy, I'm gonna have to wait just a touch here. Just a touch. Don't need, need, don't need much, it's just a touch. Sword wielder. I believe my good old friend Axolotl will be able to take care of you. Um, or I could do this. 77% chance to hit, oh god. Is the short axe any more accurate? It is, but it has less uses. Let's just do this and hope for the best. He is using a javelin. Good. Haha. Uh -huh. Good! Mm -hmm. 
Ike is gonna be used in case of emergencies. He will not be an active participant in this, a lot of this. I'm going to give him the point. Oh no, I should give him the hurling stick. Uh, the hurling stick won't kill him. The point will though, so let's give him the point. Stephanie has become a target, but it's better for her to take damage anyway, so... I should just be putting her up, up against every axe user possible. Her having vantage is so awesome. I can come up. Uh, one, one away. Meanwhile, over here... I assume this guy's gonna start moving. Um... Or maybe not? Try to get people through here as quickly as possible. Okay. Understand where they will be coming from. Take aim and strike true. I'm gonna go over here just to be on the safe side. They might do some tricksy, tricksy, tricksy things there. Can she make, oh, she cannot make it through. How about Leaf? How far is your range anyway? It's three spaces outside of the archer, man. Leaf can't make it. What do you have anyway? You've got a steel lance. I mean, I uh, I don't like doing this, but I could just try to use this to lure the guy over. I think that'd be for the best, honestly. She's got she's full health. It'll be fine. Get her through there. Get him as far into the swamp as possible. Oh yeah, these two. I think Brom is gonna try and join up with the people on the r left side, and Reese is gonna join up with the people on the right and use his physics staff to heal up uh, Boyd. Cure light Boyd! I mean, cure light wounds! Hey, a level up! Reese is currently my only healer, and I hope, I'm hope i hoping that'll change soon. Defense points, nice! If Reese for some reason finds himself in battle, I'm always happy to have that. Hello! You're attacking my unit that can't defend herself right now! Please leave a message after the thrust! So sorry you missed your lance! Please leave a message- Uh-oh! <laughs> Frickin' moron! <laughs> Whenever it does like- a Oh boy, that did a lot of damage. Probably should have checked the range on that one. Whoa, here he comes. Die! Mm, Boyd, 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 Boyd. Boyd, Boyd. He's running away! Uh, Steel Lance. I should be able to get two hits in on him with it, with this. Uh, not what I was expecting, but... Not completely unwanted. Oh, uh, let's see. Any more reinforcements? They will be coming at the end of turn six. Go, go, gadget, turn six. In order to do a good inspector gadget, you must hold your nose. Uh, I mean, he's gonna have a time chasing her. I just want to move into range of this guy. That's all. And there are so many places where he's able to reach to. Fortunately, these guys do not have the same luxury. Okay. Since Leaf is in Lagu's form. Oh, she. 9% chance to hit. I thought that was the crit rate for a second. Oh, a poleaxe. I'm glad I did this. Smack. I mean, you attempted to. S Whoa! And the roar of the kitty! Kitty, kitty, kitty cat. Kitty, a kitty at that. Kitty, a kitty, kitty cat. Got a pole axe. The archer's gonna start coming this way as well. Well, well, I suppose. Oh, I can't move that far. Son of a biscuit. Actually, uh, man! Mmm, that kills me. Probably should have had him go the other way, considering the swampiness of it all. Uh, let's have you move up here and take care of the healer. 78% chance to hit. I like those odds. 
The healer probably should have stayed behind to you son of a biscuit. Oh, good, it only took one hit to kill. If it misses, I wonder if it doesn't use up any of the durability. Imagine what uses up the durability is like the, 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 the axe to grind, as it were. Uh, steel bow ought to be enough to take care of this guy. Hell, the iron bow would be good enough. Let's just use the steel bow, though. It's like using a, it's like using a stab move. It's like if you got two stab moves in Pokemon, and they're at low HP, so you use the one that's less powerful. Yes, that's what that's like. Okay, um... This guy's being a real pain in the patoot. So I'm gonna have you go over here and use another Physic Heal on Jill, because man alive, does she need it. If that guy attacked twice, how close is that guy to attacking twice? I wonder. I implore you, sir, to reveal your secrets. Speed of 12, yes, yeah, speed of 12, and her speed is 14. Ooh, that's closer than I would have liked. All right, does this guy have a ranged weapon? No, I really want the Dragon v. Dragon, uh, fight here. Just need to make sure that she is absolutely safe. Yes. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting when I start coming across bishops instead of the healers. As they will be able to do horrid, horrid things to me. Oh, they're gonna be, he's gonna be able to shoot no matter what there. Um... Once again, she's being used as a lure. Mia, why don't you take care of this guy with what's left of your slice and sue? Didn't even, didn't even get hit. That is probably what Mia's gonna be relying on a lot as she is not getting good strength gains. I think her strength stat increases like 20% or something. Uh, I think she'll gain the boost from this. Uh, is there a thing that shows overall defense? No. Whatever, I'm pretty sure she still gets it. Uh, we'll equip bow and arrow. Who else hasn't moved? Ah, yes! Brom! Begin making your way, please. I implore you. I beg of thee. Yay! Dragon fight! Dragon fight! Ha-ha! Ow. Oh, I've made a mistake. <laughs> oh, that crit animation's pretty neat. Those are both iron lances. Hello, are you trying to kill me? Well, sir, I really wish you wouldn't. You see, that is... Ah. You tried and failed. Try to go for the lagoos in the bush. Oh, also because she has, uh, she doesn't have a ranged weapon, so... That does make sense. Ah, you also go for the lagoos in the bush. Your attempts are laughable! Pitiable, even! Please tell me Sorin can catch up. He really needs to be able to do stuff here. There's the paladin. There's the healer. There's two more guys! Oh no. Well, you know what, she could just finish this guy off. You folk are not going to be healing this day. If she doesn't land, that means it's a crit. Although you usually don't know that until they actually land and, you know, kill and destroy and maim. And keep the peace. All right, uh, let's see here. Hmm, still in a range. You're out of range, I'm out of range, but I'm out of my head when you're not around. You're out of range, I'm out of range, but I'm out of my head when you're not around. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna get copyright claimed. Who is that? Is that Hollow Notes? Stretch out your arrows and fly. 
Let your arrows fly as they die. Maybe I won't take out the paladin yet. Ooh, there we go. Here it comes. Astrid. Her class has evolved, going from a bow knight to... The most holy of warriors, a paladin. She gained a cape and so did her horse. Look at all that. <laughs> that is so good. Choose a new specialization. I thought a little bit about this, and it was between axes and swords. I'm gonna go with swords. You can now use swords. She can also now move forward slightly. I'm gonna block the path completely. One, two, three, four, one. Oh yeah, that works out, wow. Claw this guy's eyes out. I could have used lances as well because she was equipped with a lance, but I've got so many lance users in the party that I'm planning on using. Ba -da -ba -da -bum. I just want Soren to get like a good kill. What turn are we on? This is turn five. Um. Yes. Yeah, that'll work. I have been consistently losing my trains of thought and mind as it is very late. Nice! A level up for Titania. We are in rare form today. A speed up, a skill up, a luck up, and a defense up are always good. Let's move. Oh, wait a minute. They can't move past the tree. I'll move her, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I can move her right. I can move her in here and prevent this guy from trying to get further in. Really hope that those gentlemen prefer coming down here. Uh, 14 damage, and he's only got a 41% chance to hit. It's fine, I've got a healer. Honestly, Braum being a reinforcement right now is just so I could have him in the next uh, battle. Because that one is a little bit of a doozy. Ba -da -ba -da -bum. All right. Braum's still running! <laughs> I can see why he asked if he was sure that, that he was the one that was requested. Alright, does anybody really need healing? 38, 29, uh, one down, one down. No, nope, nobody needs healing. I'm gonna move him this way so he can get through the swamp a little bit faster. What is he wielding? A silver lance. Ooh, that's... Pretty rough. Pretty rough. I can start moving up this way, as can Nephany. Wait, I can move him closer. Aha! -ha -ha. Get over there. Come on, take the bait. Take the bait. Oh, you cannot harm her. Astrid is now paladin level. Yes! Yes! More experience. Yes! More experience, a ho. I'm very happy with this development, actually. Though I am trying to get Soren some experience, which is a little bit difficult. Magic! Luck! Well, luck does aid in accuracy, so can't be too mad at it. Is this a sword man? Yes, it is. <laughs> Axe Olato, please. Ba -na 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 -na. Oh no. Na -na. He'll get one hit? Criminy. Well, that's not really how I wanted this to end.
I guess I'm just gonna have to give him the point. <laughs> Nephany, you're so much better when you take hits. Did I give her a speed wing? I feel like if I gave her a speed wing, that was a mistake. I can't wait till she's able to use killer lances as well. Uh, I'm mad. All right. First and foremost, items. I'm gonna switch over to the demi band to make sure she stays in. Actually, it doesn't really that doesn't really matter honestly because this is, uh, round is about to end. Thunder. I only get one shot at it. If I use slice and sue. That's seven damage per hit. Uh, yeah, that's good. Should give me just what I needed. Even better if I crit, because then it'll mean less uh, damage that Soren has to do later. Oh, Slice and Sue broke! Oh, at least she has Slash. Thunder will deal for... I didn't mean to do that! Well, it would have been nice if Adept kicked in, but sadly, not the case. Does this guy drop anything? Oh, he's already dead. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brom's just lost in the woods. Uh, let's give it to Jill. She should be able to kill him pretty easily. With a nice bit of 17 damage. Down we go. Smack. Nice little upgrade there. And... Titania can move into the clear space. Phew. We finally made it. Let's split up and search the surrounding area. Commander, do you think we should call in more reinforcements? The Duke's army seems nearly limitless, and I'm worried our, about our weapon situation. Let's do it. Next time on Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, we are going to be continuing on in Chapter 17 with not only Stage 3, but Stage 4. See you all next time. Later.